Cancerians, this is all about you. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, or any place that cancer affects your chart, you can take these energies for the next seven days out and apply that to that portion of your natal chart. Cancerians, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries from one fellow cancer to the rest of my fellow moon babies. It's so good to be home. So, how is everybody? How you feeling? The Sagittarius new moon is off the hook and absolutely lovely energy, but it can be a little bit challenging for us Cancerians. Let's get into your reading. Oracle card reading here. There is an extended link if you are interested down below. I do a full tarot card spread to clarify this oracle spread and I do a romance reading. Oh. All in one video, FYI. Cancerian, Cancerian energy, please, for the next seven days. What is the messages for Cancer over the next seven days? Cancer sun, Cancer moon, Cancer rising, love coming in. Time for a deep dive. Know your heart, know your soul. There is something popping off, and I got this. I'll attach it right above. This is your crowning energy. It's got to do with your heart chakra. It's got to do with your heart space. It's got to do with your equilibrium inside of you. It's got to do with figuring out why the heck you don't love who you are. Because gosh almighty, that is actually what is keeping you from being in a really loving relationship. If you are in a really loving relationship, then there's some serious love popping off already. The two of you are just going to be like mm, all over each other all over each other. There's an energy of just immersing yourself and like drowning in each other. Complete, not, not bad drowning, good drowning. Totally immersing yourself in the waters that is each other. And for a second, the two of you not knowing where one ends and the other begins. Swans mate for life. This is finding your soulmate. This is finding your tribe. This is fine. Look at six. And six is the number of the lovers in the original uh, Rider White tarot deck. So this is the lovers card because swans, you don't have to see both of them. You want to, where there's one, there's the other because they mate for life. Ooh, this has got a beautiful energy to it. This is Libra energy. So this has to do with Venus ruling and love dominating. This has to do with love, beauty, attractiveness, somebody finding you extremely attractive, somebody finding you irresistible, feeling you as being irresistible. This is the energy that is crowning your reading, Cancerians. I mean, uh, listen, as a reader, I know exactly, I'm comfortable with this energy. As a fellow Cancerian, I'm like, like I, I, I'm almost in disbelief, to be honest with you. If I can pop in and out as a fellow Cancerian, I'm like, there hasn't been love in my life for years. <laughs> I doubt it's coming in the next seven days. I just, I'm going to let you know that there is something at the very least or something about your heart space that you're going to learn very quickly in the next week. It's going to be a big revelation to you. And it's going to heal you and it's going to OMG revolutionize everything that is your life. It is going to blow it up and make it all kinds of beautiful. This is la vie en rose. This is it. Life through rose-colored glasses. This is maybe, maybe that's what this is, a mentality of looking at life through rose-colored glasses, of seeing everything as beautiful and, ex and wonderful and so amazing. This is the night of the Sagittarius full moon. You need to ask for exactly what you want. Say it at least once out loud today that that is exactly what I want, exactly what you want, because I attach the reading above. My reading for you for the Sagittarius new moon was the new moon itself, all new moons included, to ask for whatever and you will receive it. This is a, a feeling of abundance, of finally something that you had been manifesting, it's coming your way, it's going to land in your lap. So it's not even about what you say today, it's about what you've been manifesting over time, ending up coming to you. This is your cup being full very, very quickly. If there is, if you are on a platform that allows for commercials, I'm going to sneak one in here and I'll be back in 30 seconds. I really appreciate your patience. <sighs> Cancer, thank you for your patience. That commercial break is actually support of the channel. It's like you donating to the channel. 
but you're just donating with your patients and that's greatly appreciated. More energies for cancer coming out. Uh, sun, moon, rising, cancer energy. Hopefully explaining this swan. Explain yourself, swan. <laughs> Guys, I want to know too. I'm just, I'm not even playing around. <laughs> um, but this is, it's time. It's time to dive deep into love. Whether you know it or not, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming for you. Oh. All of this is craziness. I'm not taking all of that, but you know what I'm taking? The ones that popped out. Watch and wait. I, let me, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I am so wrapped up in this right now, it's hard for me to be a reader and not a Cancerian. I'm like, Michelle, can you hurry up and shuffle these damn cards? Because I really need to know what's coming next. There was a card that flew out. <laughs> I know. There's like schizophrenia happening. There was a card that flew out. And I was like, I don't want to pick it up because I know it's in reverse. This is a lovely card to have in reverse. Because this is you're not waiting anymore. You're not watching anymore. This is have patience. When it's upright, it's this is a Piscean energy always. Right? And it's have patience. Wait. Be, be faithful. Watch. Have patience. Have patience. Oh, no, 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 baby. This came out upside down. This is confirmation that we're not waiting much longer. Oh, it's coming and it's coming now. Moving on. Reclaim your power. Oh, this is something that is going to revolutionize your life. It is going to make you feel so good. It's going to save your life. In some ways, it's going to get you unstuck and rescue you from the water that you've been treading. From this, oh my God, I'm drowning and finally there's a life raft. This is you coming back into your full self. This is you being rejuvenated, revitalized, happy, healthy. This is you feeling like yourself again. This is good stuff, good news, happiness, health, something boom, coming back to you. You are getting served a wish come true. I hope I was subtle. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. It's been building for a long time. This is the energy of something that has been building for a long time, creeping up on you from the dark, watching you from afar. The message hasn't gotten through to you. It's been waiting. It's been waiting for just the right time. It's almost like the universe has held it back for a reason. Maybe the universe has been watching how you react, how you behave, what you've learned, the lessons you've learned, how hard you work. But something has been building, building, building. Where you see one mouse, there are 500 in the wall. These are little bits growing bigger every single day. This is an infestation of abundance, Cancerians. Sing your own song. There's so much beauty in this card. This is an energy of people finally hearing you, of people finally recognizing you, hopefully of my voice coming back. Um, people finally breaking through your song, your voice breaking through, finally being heard. People being interested in your authenticity. So keep being yourself and keep singing your song because somebody's listening. Somebody's listening and this is one plus two is three. This is the, the sign of the Holy Trinity. This is complete and total balance and wholeness. Everything is coming together, Cancerian. It's coming together listening to you. Sing your song and make your manifestations. Say it loud and say it clear and articulate exactly what it is you want, Cancerian, because it's coming. It's coming in. People are hearing you. Your song is cutting through. And people also are singing your praises. You're getting a message. Somebody's calling to you. I'm, somebody's calling to you. It could be Gemini energy. But this is an energy of air. Gemini, Gemini because of the song of Mercury. Look, at, isn't it kind of like Freddie Mercury? With his little king, queen hat on. Pretty cute. Uh, Freddie Mercury wasn't a Gemini. It was a Virgo, which is also ruled by Mercury. There you go. <laughs> Wasn't a coincidence. Uh, uh, the miracles are endless. This is abundance coming into you. Wait, listen, at the very least, you're going to get one bit of happy news over the seven days, or I will shut my channel down. You, not really, but I will. 
you will get cancerian you will get a very happy news abundance a surprise something that you're not you have manifested you have manifested you have manifested you have manifested and you almost got comfortable in the manifestation process so comfortable in the manifestation process that you actually kind of sort of forgot that you were actually going to get what you were asking for one day because you just grew confident in understanding and in faith and in opening your heart you became happy and full just in and of your own life just by living in that state of abundance and then when it happens universe responds it responds to you being the abundance itself so now all you receive is abundance miracles are happening you're gonna there's a huge breakthrough coming in there's a huge breakthrough coming for you and what is this card again what is it card? what is this card it's 15 that adds up to six another six card time for a deep dive six there's another six card there's more love that's love that's the that's the lovers that's love here you are sitting here all alone just a plain old three but it's coming to you four 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 do you see that this is stability this op this opportunity that this opportunity that is coming into you cancerian is something that is reliable and dependable something that has been building and waiting just for you you're going to get an offer an abundant offer it's going to come in you've been singing it out loud please sing it out loud Ex ask for exactly what you want exactly what you want let me tell you something you reach for you reach for the stars you reach for it you reach for those stars you're going to get one you're going to be one. Cancerian. This is no joke. It's been building for a while. Abundance straight from the gods. And it has directly to do with something. Your words. Your words. A song that you've been singing. Prayers that you've been making. Maybe. A, a, yeah. Yeah. Something that you've been constantly chanting or saying out loud. If you've been praying. Every single day you've been putting a little bit in. And it's been building. You've been creating your own sense of stability. You're not waiting anymore, Cancerian. There's no more of this energy. This is Piscean energy too. Um, Neptune is going direct pretty soon, I think. Time to let go has come flipped out upside down. This is Scorpionic energy because it has to deal with the underworld. This is truth coming out. This is things being revealed. You don't have to let go. You finally, this is, this is not having to let go. You finally found something you could hold on to. This is whatever was hurting you or harming you. And this is your energy. Slow and steady wins the race. Confirmation that it was you and your manifestations and your hard work and your faith that actually led you to this moment. And then this is six plus two, which is eight, which is infinity. Let me turn the cards around. I'm a little bit psyched. This is think on your feet, fox spirit. This is uh, Sagittarius energy. In Sagittarius season, the Sagittarian new moon. Cancer, Cancer, pause this video right now. Say out loud what you want to manifest into your life. It is happening. It is coming. You're going to get it. Actually, hold on. I'm going to pause the video and do it myself. I made my manifestations. I hope you made yours. I really did. I'm going to flip the camera around so I can review these cards with you. This is a beautiful spread and you don't want to miss this. Look at this. You tell me. And on the bottom of the deck is this, this energy of Sagittarius. This is all in Sagittarius season. The last card that comes out is an eight, which is infinity, which is destiny. Slow and steady wins the race, confirming because Cancerian, you focused on you. Think of the tortoise and the hare story. The tortoise focused on the race itself, on, on finishing the race, on doing his best. He focused on his own energy and, and completing that race. The winning of the race for him was in completing it, was in doing it, was in not giving up. What did the hare focus on? The tortoise. I can beat him. I can win. It was all about ha 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 bragging. Look how better I, I'm better than him. I'm better than him. I'm faster than him. Bragged. The hair was focused on him and the competition and he was focused on the actual race, the, the, the doing it, the doing it. That's the energy. 
this beautiful, high vibrational, harmonious Cancerian energy that doesn't use his shell as something to retract into. Sea turtles don't retract into their shells. It's just a part of them. It, it's, it, it's them, they carry their home wherever they go. They're wise enough to know you, they carry their home wherever they go and they're, protect, they're protected by themselves. This is a steady mind. This is a certain mind. This is a mind that's faithful and says, it doesn't matter how long it takes. I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to keep doing it. This is a major breakthrough that's happening. Look at a deep dive. Swan is a swan is an energy that mates for life. For many of you, this has to do with a breakthrough in love. A breakthrough with a commitment. Finally hearing from somebody you haven't heard from in a long time. A meeting somebody that you never thought that you'd meet. This somebody finally seeing you, hearing you, singing your praises, calling to you or you calling out and it finally being heard. Stability. Four, four, four. Coming in. Angels are surrounding you, protecting you with their love and light. Making sure that this abundance has been bought to you and that you are seen by the right people, not the wrong ones. You don't have to wait anymore. There's no more waiting. Time to let go. This is the energy of you didn't like, you held on, you stayed strong, and now you don't have to let go at all. Because nothing is nagging at your heart anymore. It's gone. It's gone. You're free. You, it's come up. It's been revealed from the underworld. This person has been revealed from the underworld. You're not holding on to anything anymore. You're actually just receiving. What is more blunt than this? The miracles are endless. What? Somebody's finally breaking through and hearing you. You're finally getting a message of, I've been trying to get through to you. This could be Taurus energy. Taurus is a wonderful energy for you. But there's lots of signs here. This is Pisces. This is Libra. This is Gemini for me. This is These are my cards, so this is how I call them. Uh, Gemini, this is Taurus energy. This is Cancerian energy. But this is you showing up in your own reading as the grounding energy. This is the crowning energy, and this is the grounding energy. The grounding energy is you yourself and the hard work that you've put in. And the crowning energy is diving in. You're diving into, I'm in the deep end. We're far from the shallows now, baby. We're far from the shallows now. I'm in the deep end. Watch as I dive in. We're far from the shallows now. Far from the surface where they can't hurt us. I don't know what else to tell you. This is soulmate card. This is romance. So romance is not just about love. It's about your dreams coming true. It's your life being la vie en rose. La vie en rose. Life being sweet and beautiful. A beautiful life. Singing a song. People hearing you. La vie en rose. I, I think of Edith Piaf who had a beautiful voice. You, you know, people paid attention to her. They couldn't stop listening to her. They called to her. This was an opportunity. She was listened to. Her voice carried. And I also said to you about that card of being ruled by Mercury. Freddie Mercury and Queen. The little, the little hat on. Somebody's calling to you and you're hearing. Or they're hearing your call. Your words are finally breaking through. Finally. La vie en rose. Oh, I have no more words. Maybe tarot will. I'm going to pull a full tarot spread and then also go into the romance. Use your words. Use your words. I'll see you over there.